of August, I found out, or we found out, me and my partner found out, that one of our friends that we were super close and cool with turned out to be a freaking snake. Everything is fine, me. Like, everything's on fire, but everything's fine, you know? <laughs> and, like, Mercury's in fucking Gatorade right now, so it's all just one big test. I know that. I've been through all this before. And I'm gonna make it out again. no words <laughs> like this is just like a big WTF moment like what is going on what is this energy why how but in my previous video I talked about repeating lessons the world is going to throw at you the same lessons over and over and over until you learn I learned my lesson from my first car accident. Was I driving cautiously enough to 
to prevent my second accident. Your bullshit, and we're we're working on your time, and we host you, and we're providing. 
providing drinks, we're giving you a space to come chilling. And how does it escalate to the point where you pull out a gun and start shooting in the air just to scare people? Like, and then on top of that, my keys go missing. So this motherfucker grabbed the keys and just dipped and hasn't, like, who knows? Maybe it's in another freaking state right now. Nobody get on my nerves throughout the day. Like, it freaking sucks. But it's a lesson I have to go through right now. How many times do I gotta eat seafood before I'm like, damn girl, you should be eating this. This should not be going in your body. You already know what's gonna happen. Why are you doing this to yourself? Kind of like lessons on lessons on lessons. When are you gonna learn? But enough about me. We're 20 minutes into the video now. I just wanted to update y'all with what's been going on. Why I haven't been coming on camera. We are gonna clear the energy because the Lord knows we need it. Spirit knows we need it. The higher powers know we need it.
how like they ask you like what do you want to be when you grow up um and one of my answers was to be an art teacher so i'm finally taking that path now and it's exciting because it's something new for me
years back. I'm a very quiet 
person. I try not to put too much of my personal info out here. But maybe this is something that I need to share because it is thick. <clears throat> so before Hurricane Barrel came rolling through, I almost lost a sibling. My sibling was literally fighting for their life. Just on 
on here to spew some like kumbaya shit to y'all like life fucking happens and now my partner's in jail like what the fuck like I'm used to him popping in here and like getting on my nerves every 10 minutes I don't even have that right now but you know what I'm still able to get phone calls from him We are so fucking privileged. He's in jail, yeah. But he has a place to sleep. The building, it's fine. It's gonna be cold, but he's okay. I just put money on his books today. He's gonna eat. You know what I'm saying? If I was in a third world country right now, it could be so much fucking worse. The shit he's going through right now in another place, he could be killed for that shit, like, I will say I'm very grateful to be an American because we are so fucking privileged here, like, the little shit that y'all take, not y'all, but like, people take for granted daily, like, the rights that we have as an American, the freedom of speech, the freedom to bear arms, the freedom to we have so like not entitlement but there are places out there that don't even have that there are women out there right now that can't even fight for themselves just because like men have the say so they're not allowed to wear what they want to wear they're not allowed Some, like in China, okay, I'm not even, <laughs> whoo, I'm like, okay, let's get back on to <laughs> the affirmation, but you know what I'm saying, like, it could be so much worse, yeah, I'm going through it right now, but it could be so much worse, yeah, it's unfortunate I lost my car, yeah, somebody almost, like, someone that we thought was our friend tried to shoot us. I'm still here. And I start my new job in a week. Fuck all that bullshit. Fuck all that bullshit. Throw it out the fucking window. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's gonna get better. I'm not going to stay in this energy forever. I'm not going to be carless forever. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to rack my money up. And I'm going to figure it out. I'm still here. You can't kill me, bitch. I'm still here. You can't kill me. <laughs> Ooh, a little bit for you. And a lot of it for me, honey. I need negativity. affirmation from the panda deck that we got is today I feel healthy today my mind is clear my body is healthy hallelujah and my soul is at peace I'm still alive you can't kill me
not everything, but like, this is something I'm sharing with y'all. Hey, I like to do tarot, and I'm here to help my collective, and also, it helps me because I get to connect with people, and I get to relate with people. Today I feel good. Today I know deep down that I look good, feel good, and I am a good person. Yes. You can say what you want to say about me. You can say what you want to say about my partner. At the end of the day, it's all going to work out. Black 
black magic going on behind the scenes. And you just can't get caught slipping out here. That's what they want you to do. They want you to pop off. They want to see you cry. They want to see you on your knees. They got fun and games. sheriffs could even drive away. I heard the motherfucking neighbors laughing their ass off. I was really like, are you fucking kidding me right now? They haven't even pulled away from the house and you're laughing your ass off because y'all were probably the ones that were in on it to fucking report him. Like, my husband couldn't even get arrested in peace. Are you fucking kidding me?
There is nothing small about it. Live life while you have it. Because at any moment, you just never know. I could have died a couple weeks ago. My sibling almost died last month. <clears throat> My grandma was in a hospital a week ago. Like, you just never know. So live life now while you have it. Luck is the residue of design. Luck is the residue of design. Like I said, you might not see it right now because you're going through the thick of it. I'm going through the thick of it. But it's not going to stay like this for me. I'm a very lucky person. I was born on the 13th. Um, it is naturally lucky. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of luck on your side too because Confirmation about the other family members that did not show up. 
it really showed me like, damn, if I was in his shoes, y'all bitches wouldn't be here for me either. Like, I thought we were family. But, the Nine of Swords came out. <clears throat> Oh my god, my, 
I have the window open because of my sage. I'm trying to like air it out and my cat have her head poking through it and she scared the fuck out of me because I didn't know she was there. Girl, you come in the house? Oh, you're lucky your daddy's not home. <laughs> she doesn't like when the cats are in the house, but okay. Let me, let me show y'all her real quick. This is my cat. Beginnings are on the way.